This is what's happening in Beverly Hills. There's a yoga college of India, and the man who runs it is Yogi Bikram. He's never really done yoga until you've done a Bikram class. With millions in the bank and millions of followers, Bikram is doing something right. People would say, what's he like? And I would say, he sees himself as a cross between Mother Teresa and Howard Stern. He was a teacher who was going to make me perfect. He saw potential in you that you might not see. But he has a really ugly side. He looked at me and said, suck that fat stomach in. I don't like to see the jiggle jiggle. Bikram was so good at getting inside of our brains. I'm going to start with the last drop of blood you have. How could smart women endure weeks with this guy? I'd seen flashes of megalomania, but I didn't know how diabolical he actually was. Don't look so sad. He kept telling me that he wanted to make me famous and that I just had to stay close with him. And that's why I am here. Beekram called me out of class and into his office, and he said, what are we going to do about us? Should we make this a relationship? And it was just like, oh my god. I don't want to say that I was brainwashed, but that's what was happening. There was a camp that was going to hang him by his nails. And there was a camp that was saying these girls asked for it. It was really hard, because I wouldn't be the person who I am today without him. The young women who want to believe in something so badly, those are the people that he targets. A lot of people tell a lot of stories, and that becomes their truth. I'm happy he's still teaching class. You are not intelligent, wise, experienced enough to understand who I am. It's not over.